Hello everyone, and welcome back. Uh, last time we went through some of the Crystal Tower here. Um, I don't remember the exact pathing that we took. I just know that we didn't actually follow the straightforward path. So let's actually do that this time around. Uh, because I don't think we can truthfully beat the, the darkness yet. Or the, the Cloud of Darkness as it was called. So we're going to go ahead, this time we'll travel through Eureka, and uh, we'll, we'll see how this all good pans out. Ooh, we've got chests already. What do we have? We have White Musk. We have an Elixir. Thinking on items. I did also go ahead and spend a good portion of money buying up a bunch of extra items. I did only end up leveling us up to around about 55 because, I won't lie, I, I got tired of just going battle after battle and so I just went ahead and stopped at 55 and figured eh why not it's it's a decent level all right so does is there really oh yep there there is an island there all right gargoyle nope you're in a by a by a by a by a by that's what we're gonna say a by Alright, so you should be basically destroyed without much of an issue because of Isen. Should do a decent chunk, I presume. And... 41.15, so... I, I, I guess I should... I, I could have... Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, th this is probably what you're initially supposed to do before you go off to the left to find... Uh, the main and the the darkness. Ooh, a Fuma garb. Uh, that's an equipment. Uh, Fuma garb. Defense of 47. You're not able to. You're not able to. So I presume that you're also not able to. I'm not even gonna check on Bob though because if Hazel wasn't able to, chances are he's not going to. And it was also a lower uh, defensive stat. Ooh, we got an, we got a door. Ooh, more chests. What do we got? White Musk, Chocobo's Wrath, and a Phoenix Down. I will happily accept Phoenix Downs. Ooh, we even get the preemptive strike this turn. Alright, so we can just attack and guard with Cody. Because we should pretty much kill it right here. Because of that being a crit. So, perfect 9,999. So, it's, it's dead. It's very dead. Alright, well, it's, chests are nice, but do we have... Okay, we, we, I guess, I'm guessing that there's probably a room on this left side as well. Alright, enemies, if you could, like, not, that would be fantastic. Alright, ooh, Bob gets to go first this time. Dealing 49.79. Oh yeah, look at that low amount of damage, plus another perfect... Oh no, that wasn't a perfect 9.999. Okay, well that's alright. It doesn't matter too much after all the enemies still died. Alright, let's see. What's in this room? What's in the room? It is... White Musk. Okay, it wasn't really worth it. Alright, well. I guess uh, let's follow the left-hand path this time first instead of the right-hand side. Ooh, stairways. It's. I'm guessing they're no longer mirrored. Ooh, we got a shuriken. Too bad I don't have any ninjas currently active on our team, so that doesn't matter. At least, not to me. Alright, let's see. So if we keep on going on the right-hand side... Ooh, we have a bridge this time. Alright. Ooh, we got two of these lizard men with dragon hands named Hoka. Alright, Hoka. Uh, let's uh, see if you can do a Hadoken. Because uh, that's fairly similar in name. But I'm guessing... Guessing the left one here dies? No, it does not. Ooh, they can cast lightning. That's not... Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I, I saw the zero on Cody and my mind went... Oh god, he has zero health. But in fact, it was just zero damage and my brain is stupid. Alright. Alright, so right one is dead with this attack then. Good. So you die now. Very good. Good, get out of here. 
Thank you. All right. All right. Come on. I want to see what's down on, on this under this bridge. Ooh, we got the achievement. When I grow up, I want to be. What is that? Uh, wait. Hold up. Uh, did we really? Did we really do that? Holy crap, we did. Okay, I don't know exactly when I managed to do that, but Hazel is now level 99 with a dragoon. Guess that's what happens when you <laughs> when you find out that it's fairly decently powered. So you just leave her on it forever. Okay. Well, that that's nice. That's that means that uh, that's our first person at job level 99. Ooh, Phoenix down. That's nice. I will happily take all the Phoenix downs. All right. And what else do we have? I'm guessing one of these crystals somewhere is going to be something that if you zoom in, you can do something with. But. I, I've not really paid much attention to it. I also didn't pay any attention to the name. Slepnir. Uh, I don't know. That's probably mytholo mythological in in some uh, in some ancient country, but I don't know it. So it could also not be, for all I know. I just know stuff like Thanatos because it's ancient Greek, and that's one of the few things that is decent, fairly popular in uh, in history classes to teach even though I don't I don't really remember if they actually taught of Thanatos or if that was just something I learned what is this it's a chakra the more moon ring blade a force of darkness uh let us see what you are made of oh oh uh oh Hey, hey guy, I kind of remember you, but I also don't at all. Amon, Amon, no, that was Hyde, Hida, Hida. It was high something. So you are a different enemy. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, he's an undead. Why did I just do? I just killed both Hazel and Bob. I assume. Oh no. Well, not really killed. They're just gonna take damage. Oh, no. No, he's not counted as undead. Yes! Good. That's a good thing. That means that we will all keep healing ourselves based off of damage that we take or deal. Good. That's good. And 2863. So that really wasn't a large amount. Alright. What do we got with Libra? Unknown health. Weakness of ice at the moment. Alright. Well, uh, I have a Blizzaga. It's not going to be super effective, but we also have Ice in, which will be much better effectiveness. You really don't deal a large amount of damage. But, uh, I do. <laughs> Eat this diamond dust. I am so glad that Summoner only does actual damaging ones. Who needs the Evokers? 5950. Look at that good damage being dealt. So nice. Ooh, 7,900. That was nicely done, Hazel. Nicely done. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be better if we just base attack. Go ahead and ice in again. Attack and attack. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Fyraga. That's not nice. That's not nice when you target all of us. If you could uh, just not do that and you could just die, that would be fantastic. Especially if you die, like, right here. Chances are you probably won't, but, uh... We, we can hope, right? Alright, right, die, please die. Nope, not dead yet. Come on. We gotta be getting close. That was a good 7,000... God, really? Really? Really me? That, you don't deal much damage. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just, uh, Kiraga... Summon Ison again, attack, and attack. I guess I could jump with Hazel and she'll heal herself a lot more. I think that's what we'll do this upcoming turn if we're still alive. Oh dear. Well, Hazel's healing herself a good chunk. Hey, Hazel also did the kill. Good job, Hazel. Boo yeah. None of us died. Woo! <laughs> you don't get to steal all the experience this time, Hazel. <laughs> All right. 
Alright, so being the Onion Knight really isn't all that useful anymore. Ooh, so we now have the Moon Ring Blade. Alright. Uh, is that, is that going to be better than our Dragon Lance? Uh, let's see. Moon, moon Ring Blade. It is actually slightly lower. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess in that case we won't use it. Uh, oh. oh! Oh, that's also a boss so we get nice and fully healed? Hell yeah! Alright. Uh, I don't remember if there was a different path, but we're gonna go ahead and go this way. Ooh, you're you're definitely gonna be an Archron. Archron? Oh, I assume Archron is how it's supposed to be said, but it's spelled like Archron. So Archron, let's uh, let's go ahead and kill you because you're probably gonna have like the amount of health of a mini boss. And you'll, you deal damage like that boss just dealt, so you know, that's a nice thing. <laughs> uh, uh, when, when basic enemies, or what are supposed to be basic enemies, deal the same amount of damage as a boss that you just fought. Okay. Yeah, well, you're dead. Ha! I win. Alright, let's see. So let's go ahead... What other... What other swords and items do we get to collect by just going down further in here? Ooh, ooh, let's go right first. Oh, oh, hell yeah, it's the Darkness Blade. I can only assume that this is the true Darkness Blade. Alright, let's get fully healed up. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this thing. Masume. Oh, no, it's Masume. The Mystic Blade. Defeat me, and I will be yours to wield. Hell yeah, you're gonna be mine to wield. Oh, you're apparently also a chick. Okay, well that was not quite what I was expecting. Well, let's go ahead and Libra on the Konichi. Uh, let's also go ahead and just Bahamut, since we know that it's boss level, so we get healed up afterwards. 504, okay. If you could not do that on me, that would be- Oh, you get an attack three times! Ha! Ah, no! None of that! You- you too fast! You die fast! Please die fast! Come on, Bahamut! Max damage! Max damage her! Come on! Come on! Come on, Mega Flare! Max damage! Nah, 6651. That's not terrible, though. Okay, well, uh, Bob does a good chunk. Did half as much damage as Bahamut. Okay, unknown health, no known good thing. Okay. Alright, well, we'll just keep Bahamut, and you'll just keep base attacking. I assume Hazel will land dealing max damage. Ooh, it's using haste, so she's gonna probably attack with four attacks now. Alright, yeah, max damage. And we also get another Mega Flare. Hazel's gonna go ahead and jump again, because that did the max damage, so we might as well just keep doing that. I... That god, that shakes the screen so much still. It's kind of annoying. Hey! She went down very quickly. I was not expecting to win that quickly. Alright, Muscle Man. Are you. Ooh, obtained black hole. That's nice. That's an item, too. Yeah. And we have the Muscle Man. Alright, uh, let's see. Who, who gets to use the Muscle Man? I mean, obviously me. I get two. Well, 227. Wait, would it not be better to go ahead and get... Yeah, we can give it to you. And Masumane is also effective against dividing enemies, so swapping it with the Kiku Ichimonji isn't a bad thing. And it actually still goes up 17. Thinking on it, was the Dragonlance better than the Kiku Ichimonji? It is, by two points. Okay. Well, that'll... We'll, we'll definitely stick with that. Let's go left now. Oh, it's just a chest. Omni-Rod. Omni-Rod. That, the... Uh, um... Inflicts gradual petrification. Alright, uh, let's see. 30 and... Yeah. Yep. You'll... You'll take it, even though I don't think it'll be super useful. But, oh well. 
Ooh, we got a basic chest here with a phoenix down. Though each time we get a new weapon from the boss level guys here, we get a nice good old full heal in. And revived as well. Alright, let's let's just keep going. Alright, Eureka. Where are we going next? I feel like we were just here. Probably not, but uh Oh. Oh, this seems fancy. This is gonna be a difficult fight. Alright. Excalibur, the legendary sword. I want it. I want to. Let us see if your light burns brighter than mine. It doesn't, but I'm going to wi- Okay, you do not look like a person wielding a sword like one would expect, but, uh... We're not even gonna... Ch we should check to see if you have weak points. Alright, Bahamut. <laughs> Bahamut and jump. The, the two uh, most powerful things I can do. Jump and Bahamut. Ooh, 888. Okay, you deal... You deal more damage than what I want you to, but that's okay. Because, uh, we deal... We deal even more damage. We deal even more damage than 800 damage. We, we deal a good solid 5,000-ish. Oh, 8,400. Hell yeah. Yeah, you're gonna keep using Bahamut. And, uh, let's see. Do you have a weakness to fire, then? General is your name. No weak points, really. Interesting. Alright, uh, well in that case, we'll go ahead and drain, actually, yeah, no, drain. Go with the drain. Drain, Bahamer, and attack. And Hazel will land dealing max damage, especially if Bahamut's doing 8,000. Hazel should have no issue dealing max damage. Uh, we should also go ahead, yeah, she dealt max damage. We should also go ahead and use me, Mike. Me, Mike, whichever you want to say, it doesn't really matter. I interchange him all the time. Use him to go ahead and heal up Cody. Cody, of course, will Bahamut again. And never mind, doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, I like it when they're this easy. I like it when fights go that easily. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, Excalibur. You're mine. You're mine. <laughs> Yes, mine. All right, Excalibur, what do you do? All right, all right, all righty, all righty, all righty. A blade usable only by the worthy. All right, um, so are you able to wield it then? You are not. Interesting, so is that one that you can only use as the Onion Knight then, I wonder? Hmm. I mean, I can wield it, so I'm going to. Uh, actually, I guess I might as well swap off the Blood Lance. Because it... I, I just don't... Yeah. It'll just be better. Actually, yeah, we'll use the Moonring Blade, even though I could I, I could equip uh, the Dragon Lance. But I, I want to use the Moonring Blade because we just got it. It... I like how it also says blade, but it's definitely a chakram, which is just essentially a circular blade. So, it, so it's not wrong in calling it blade. It, to me, it just isn't right. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know if I want to go in that yet. So we're going to go left first. What is this little thing? What are you? You look like a, a ooh, you're the elder staff, apparently. You, you seem like you're gonna be a magic-y thing. You must best me in battle if you wish to use me. Spirit within the staff attacks you. Okay, well that's rude. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. All right, Celia. Um. Let's see how you like Bahamut and jumping. Cause uh, so far the other bosses have not liked me when I do that. I assume you're gonna be no different. So let's let's, let's test that theory, shall we? All right, here we go. Max damage, come on, max damage, please. Come on, what do we get? What do we get? We get 7386. So a, a not max damage, but a, a large damage chunk. Uh, you also really I I prefer you using magic on Cody. You actually deal less damage. 
All right. Unknown. Oh, God. Why? I should really just stop using Libra to check to see if they have weak points at this point. Because they just never do. They just never do anymore. Which I presume is because they're in-game boss levels. Oh, I should have Kiraged on Bob. Oh, well, Bob is dead. Bye, Bob. <laughs> Guess you're gonna be raised the next turn if, uh, if I don't, uh, just kill the boss here. Although, even then, you might not even actually get raised because I probably end up killing it before then. 8510, alright. It's still standing, so you, you have a chance to be revived here, Bob. You stand a chance at getting revived. Alright, raise on Bob, summon Bahamur, and jump, Hazel, jump. Because, you know, you just deal max damage because you're broken. I mean, it, it also helps that your job level is maxed out. Which I guess I could almost swap her to a different job, but because we're in the boss area, it just being boss is wouldn't be a good idea. Yep, sorry Bob, you don't get the experience. Sorry about your luck. Shouldn't have died. Darn fool. That's what you get for getting blasted by that holy. Oh. Oh, and we got so much experience there. Oh, so sorry, Bob. Alright, so we do have the Elder Staff now. So I want... I wonder... So I would assume that... I assume that Cody should be able to equip it. But I... I, I kind of want to not... Wait. He can. Hold up. Hold up. What? Elder Staff. Cast... Really? Just Kira? Okay, well, I'm not too concerned that you can't wield it anymore. Alright, what's the weapon on this side? Uh, that's a very fancy looking blade. I want that sword. You, you get out of my way right now. You get right out of my way. You just die. You just die right here. Please, make it easy and just die. Make it easy. I guess I could have used, uh... Could have used Isen or whatever her actual name is I'm forgetting now okay <laughs> yeah throws the chakram perfect all right all right all right all right we should also go ahead and heal me up for this fight real quick there we go that'll be good all right what sword are you what sword are you fancy sword I want you I am Ragnarok the demon blade let us test your strength and see if you are worthy. Well, uh, I think I am, but your opinion is probably different than mine, but, uh, in the end... Oh, not raised. In the end, your opinion doesn't matter because I'm going to kill you, Guardian, with uh, a couple of Bahamers and jumps, as well as attacks from Bob, and I just want to see if you have any weaknesses. Chances are you're going to tell me no, and okay, you deal more damage than what I want you to be dealing. So uh, if you could just die really quickly, that'd be fantastic. Because uh, that, that's more damage than what I want to see you doing. Alright, max damage, come on, come on. Max damage on a boss. Ah, 78.35, that's not terrible. It's not, it's no max damage, but it's close. Yeah, of course. No weak points. As I suspected. Uh, let's also go ahead and Kiraja, or Kiraga on Cody. And then Cody will summon Bahamur, and Bob will just basic attack, and then we'll win next turn. So that was a max damage done by Hazel. I won't mind if he attacks Hazel, because Hazel will jump next turn, and... Ooh. That's not good. That's not good. What does Reflect do? What does Reflect do? Oh, please tell me that that just increases his defense and doesn't reflect basic attacks back onto us. Okay, 8650. Oh, good. Whew. Oh, good. I thought that that was going to reflect the attack back because that's, that's what it sounds like it's going to do, but it doesn't. All right, good amount of money, decent experience. Hey, we got a high potion. Yet are mine. Excellent. The light is strong within you. I deem you worthy. Damn right you deem me worthy. You're mine now. 
You're mine, Ragnarok. You are mine. Equipment. Me. Moon Ring Blade can go away because, uh, well, we, we now have Ragnarok, which is three better than Excalibur in damage. All right, uh, well, let's, uh, let's test what we've got here. I assume that this will teleport us out of Eureka, but I can't guarantee that. All right, let's see how much damage I do. Because Hazel does a good solid 66-42, Bob does 63-49. I presume I deal around about the same amount. I probably deal a bit less, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, we deal less, but 48-33 isn't bad. But goodness, Bob and Hazel deal so much damage. Like, they, they are by far the most powerful of our group. Oh, wait, we're, we're not actually out yet. Alright, uh, high potion then. Uh, on Bob to get him most of the way back up. Alright, well, well. Ooh, we got weapon. Oh no, we have an elixir. We have a shuriken. I don't know if I want to talk to these two yet. Elixir and shuriken. Ooh, glutton for arms. That's the one with getting all the chests in Eureka, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've gotten everything out of Eureka aside from these two enemies. Or people. Oh, they're not enemies. They're shops. Oh, give me that. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. Am I... Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we... Um... Hey, there we go. I like that you can actually just buy Leviathan or Bahamut at this point in the game. Or you could do what I did and actually go backwards. Uh, we also now have the last of the of the uh, the summons for Odin. Okay, that makes sense. Um, also, let's uh, arise. Um, cause that'll revive at full health. Oh, oh, all right. Which do we want? Fire, light. Okay, so we're definitely taking death and then we're going to take holy. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, all right. And none of those were level seven. Oh, wait, that was a level seven. And that is a magic reflecting thing. Whew. Oh, good thing apparently summons don't count as that, because that would have been really badly. Do we have any other level 4s that I can go ahead and equip? I guess I could have done uh, Asuna. Oh, nah, never mind, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, doesn't look like we've got any other level 4s. Alright, um... Well, I think we just became very overpowered. And, uh, and, and it looks like that's also everything out of Eureka that we could have gotten... Because I did get the achievement for getting every weapon from Eureka. So I I, I think that means that uh, we're good to leave Eureka. Head back out of the Crystal Tower to save the game. To then go back in. And maybe next episode make our way through uh, the left side. Actually, hold up. Hold up. Um... Boop. Wait, can we... Can we cause... Okay, good. We can't actually do that on both. So we'll guard. Hazel, you'll attack that one. And Bob will defend. I just want to see if we can get the instant KO. I just want to know if we'll get the instant KO. Alright. So these settings have either 8,000 or less health. Ah, oh, it missed. Try again. Try again. I, I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I should actually take him. You know what? Let's go Odin. Let's see Odin. Why not? Uh, right. Castro. Guard. Guard. Alright. Odin. Cut this guy in half. I presume... Zentetsuken? I think is what that read. Zentetsuken? Let's find out. Ooh. You do look... 
fairly similar to the Final Fantasy VII Odin. Oh, you missed. I presume that that's also got a chance to just one-hit kill. Which I think is why it didn't hit. But that's okay. We'll, we'll just go ahead and kill this enemy now. Yeah, you're dead. You don't. You no longer stand a chance. <laughs> None of these enemies really do. We we just I I just kind of decided to go through Eureka instead of going through with the rest of the the game because well I really just didn't want to see if I stood a chance yet because I kind of wanted to grind up to level 60 and th those we both went through because I wanted to be up around about level 60 to try to get through the the rest of the crystal tower because I assume that that's the right amount or right about the right level to be at but of course I, I don't really know for sure because I don't really have a way of finding out because the first time that we also fight the darkness we actually dealt no damage to it which was unfortunate but at the same time at this point who knows how it would actually go because we've got the Eureka's weapons so we might actually be able to deal damage to the darkness the first time that we fight it however i just I, I don't feel like we will i feel like it will just be that fight where it's hey you're guaranteed to lose this fight every time because uh that, that's just the way that it works sometimes is they, they gotta have that enemy that just is going to kill you every single time without fail until whoever decides to sacrifice themselves sacrifices themselves to give you enough power to win did we actually go down these paths that's what i want to double check real quick yes yes we did okay that one was the chest up and to the left i think is the right path oh no at this point there are circle paths that are mirror images okay that's right i remember now all right so we are basically back out so I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead, exit the Crystal Tower, and uh, save the game. So, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next episode in which we will go through the Crystal Tower the, uh, the, the, the correct way, not necessarily Eureka. But, until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye